In this video, we get an early snowfall, tackle some intense projects, cook some wild food, and meet up with a face I think a lot of you will recognize. Stay tuned. Well, it's quite obvious that winter is here, or it's, you know, it, it'll get warm again yet, but any time at all, it can snow and stay down. So that gets me thinking about a couple of projects that I need to do for this upcoming winter. I'm gonna repurpose some old materials that I've had laying around up here. I like to do that whenever I can. These things weigh a ton, which is perfect. Oh. These are little soft earplugs. People tend to want to put them in their ears this way, but I put them in this way. That way once they're in there, they don't want to slide back out because of the taper going against it. Give them a roll up like that. Nice and small. There. They don't work themselves out then. You're welcome. Here. Some nice lead going in 
through there. Don't spare the butter, boys. Don't spare the butter. Hot, nice and doughy on the inside. Oh man, just like mom's homemade bread. Well, not quite, mom. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Happy Thanksgiving, Chuck! I'm getting along in this project here. It is a snow groomer, I guess. I have no clue uh, how to build a snow groomer other than what I've seen on YouTube and I've seen as, you know, other people do it. I'm not a welder, so I'm just kind of improvising here. My buddy uh, Ellis gave me those grates that I'm sitting on, you know, you saw me cutting off there. It didn't cost me five cents, so I'm gonna take it and give it a whirl. I don't need a trail that's perfectly groomed. I just need to get rid of those what we call yes ma'ams, right? Because that's hard on sleighs, hard on skidoos. So I'm just looking for something to basically do the job. Cut the knobs off and smooth it out so I can haul my wood better. Now, this is an exciting announcement. Tomorrow, I got a guy coming to spend the weekend here at the cabin with us. He's a huge YouTuber. In fact, he's a full-time YouTuber with hundreds of thousands of people that watch him, tens of millions of views. And his channel is just like, increasing every day so he's going to do extremely well and most fittingly he's my most favorite youtube channel to watch because believe it or not i don't watch a lot of youtube i don't always have the time i'm usually filming or making my own videos but if i'm ever going to stop and have a coffee oftentimes i will watch jay and that's who's coming jay legere i know some of you saw me on his channel and him and I converse back and forth on a fairly regular basis. So I'm really looking forward to meeting him, spending time with him. He told me he wants to kind of feel our experience here, our off-grid life experience. So that includes a bit of work. He's not going to get off too easy. I'll throw in a few clips here just to give you a taste of what you can possibly expect on a further video from me and certainly from him. And I will share his video as well. First time ever making alouettes. Love this. I'm going to get Jay in the truck way. He is so going to want one of those now. Truck Porter versus Jay Legere. <laughs> yeah. Is it with a line on the bottom for details? Yes. No, 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 what? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, no, wait, no. Oh no. Bloopers. <laughs> is that ever good? Is that ever good?
think I just heard Jay pull in. There we go. Yeah. This is not quite wide enough. This is not going to be center. Only one leg is going to bend. The other leg is going to stay straight. So you might have... You see what I'm saying? Oh, I know the answer. Oh, you know I, I do know the answer. Okay. I have no clue. No. Oh. <laughs> Put this big washer on here. And then nail for now. Okay, I can see that you gotta go up now, right? Because, gonna, yeah, if we do that, I can go through. Uh, okay. I'm afraid we're gonna slide right off this thing here. Through all the way. Oh, good idea, okay. Ah, oh, I think we got it. Awesome, man, that's a good job. I would never have gone that way. You'd be in here. That would have been a tough one, yeah. yeah. The only thing we got left to do on this now is to put the Teflon runners on here. I tried to get some, but there's none in town. Kane's Quest Racers used it all up last year, but it'll be in in a few days, so I'll apply it then. And the way it's supposed to work is this. Right now, it's just a regular sleigh. I can throw a skidoo or big logs on top of there, whatever I want. It'll just be a regular sleigh with some nice fancy grading on top for the bed. Of course, the snow grooming effect is gonna come into play. When I get to the trail I wanna groom, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna turn it bottom up. And these sharp grates here, are going to hopefully, hopefully, take out the tops of those bumps in the trail. And like I may have already said, I have no clue. You guys can leave a comment and tell me I'm crazy or whatever, but I got it all for free here. I got it put together. Hey, what's gonna hurt? And it gives you that little bit of excitement that it just might work. And of course, if it does, then you'll all want one, right? She hasn't been started since last spring. Let's see what happens. I think I already know. Here you go. I love that dependability. That's worth it right there. It gets my heart pumping already. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I'm gonna bring my Skidoo up to the Skidoo dealership now to get some uh, annual inspection done on it. And uh, then, I tell you, it'll be time to hit the trails. And when I hit the trails, I can't wait to try that new snow groomer. It might be a total flop. It might be number one. We won't know until the snow comes. But I want you guys to go along with me and see just what happens. A lot of this stuff about being off grid is about experimenting, trial, and error is a huge thing. We're almost at the end of the day here. Thanks for tuning in. And until the next video, take care of each other, get outside and enjoy everything outdoors. And we'll see you next time. Guaranteed. Gets <laughs> worse off. Well guys, we're just getting ready to bring we? Who's we? Ready to bring my skidoo up to the uh, skidoo mobile. Uh, skidoo mobile? Seriously, Chuck, get your mouth in order. Get outside and enjoy.